Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. Today's video is going to be about is your comfort zone going to destroy your dreams? Now many people talk about living in a comfort zone and I agree, living in a comfort zone makes you feel good, makes you feel secure. And I've got to say that I'm in my little comfort zone now, my little comfort bubble, and I'm 62 year old. And it took me 60 years to be able to get to my comfort zone. And I like it, I like being in my comfort zone because at the end of the day, I've worked for it and I've dreamt about it and now I'm living it. But living in a comfort zone has its dangers also. So the biggest group that I have watching my channel are aged between 55 and 65 according to the YouTube analytics. Now as I say, getting to that age, 55 to 65, technically you should have everything that you want. You've got the house, the job, you've got the kids growing up and off to university and hope, hopefully living their, their life. So now you're probably in your comfort zone and life is going to change because once the kids are growing up, then it's the empty nest syndrome. So then your dreams and aspirations maybe start to get rekindled. And then you may be thinking, I'll live a boring life living in my comfort zone. So do you remember when you were young, coming out of school or university, college or wherever, and your goals and dreams and aspirations? What was your biggest dream in life? And what have you done to accomplish that dream? And did you or have you achieved your goal or are you still looking for it? You'll probably remember at one point in your life, your life was just full of dreams and aspirations of what you're going to do. Your car, your house, your wife, your family, blah de blah de blah and it goes on. And as I say, many people never ever achieve that goal because it's a dream too far. But many people actually are still striving for that goal. But have a look around where you are now. Are you happy where you are? Do you, are you happy with what you see? Are you happy with your life as to how it's going? And there's only you that can actually answer that question. Actually, have your dreams died or have you still got dreams and aspirations of where you want to go, what you want to do? There are many obstacles placed in our way. Our jobs, our careers, our bosses, um, lifestyle with regard to getting married, getting a house, getting divorced, bereavements many, many such obstacles, but we always appear to get over them. An obstacle is there and many people just get over it and get on with it and move forward. But some people are bogged down by life is too hard, life is too difficult, life is a challenge. So fight it head on and move on and achieve what you want to do out of life. I've had more than my fair share of obstacles to get over in my lifetime, these being Divorced three times, been bankrupt, losing everything through divorce. But has this destroyed my dreams? No, never. Never at all. My channel's called Retired and Living the Dream. And I've got to say, I am retired and I am living the dream. But I'm living my dream. It might not be everybody's dream, but it's my dream. So obstacles are there to overcome. So do your best, sort it out and move on. Follow your dreams. Did you know that many successful people Say a comfort zone is the destroyer of all dreams. Look at all of the multi, multi millionaires. When you have enough money, you think to yourself, well, why do you need to do anything? Because at the end of the day, you've got everything. You've got to have everything that money could buy or life can give you because of your sheer wealth. But no, a lot of these successful people still take risks because at the end of the day, it's that that keeps you alive. It's your dreams of obtaining something else or getting something else and moving forward and achieving something. Now, you don't have to be a multi-millionaire to, to have them same dreams. Even if you're on basic wage or whatever, the dream is to live in a beautiful country, have a beautiful lifestyle, have some nice holidays. Even the smallest of dreams can be the best dreams for your circumstances. And in our comfort zone, life is probably getting too comfortable because at the end of the day now everything is so easily to get you just have to press the telephone now and you can get food delivered you can shop on amazon you can shop on lazada you can shop on shopee and everything will get delivered to you where i live here in thailand we have 7-elevens i can get a cup of coffee delivered from 7-eleven so we live in the internet era where you don't have to leave the house to do all your shopping. How many people do the shopping, food shopping online, rather than trudging up and down with the trolleys in Asda 
or Safeware or anything like that. You can order everything online. You can actually just sit in your home and do everything online. Some people, that's their comfort zone because they don't want to go out, they just want to sit at home all day and do nothing, don't want to interact with people. If that's what you want and that's what you desire, no problems with that. That's just your little comfort zone. But some people are scared now to go out of their comfort zone. But don't be scared. Life is an adventure and one day you won't be here to enjoy that adventure. So you still want to chase your dreams even though you're in your comfort zone. Many people are scared of actually leaving their comfort zone. But at the minute, where you are now was your dream. Let's say you live in a nice house, a nice area. At one time you didn't live there. And at one time you were working hard and aspiring to get to where you are now. So even where you are now, at one point, it was a dream. It was probably unreachable. But now you're here, reach for the next thing that you want to do in life. Because when all of a sudden done, your comfort zone is always going to be there. So if you step outside of it, look for something else, you can always retreat back to your comfort zone if it doesn't work. As we grow older, we discover more life experiences. And when you discover different experiences and different living and different views of people living around the world like I did. I travelled around the world for two years. Wow, did it open my eyes up and it changed my view on life. And now I live much more of a contented lifestyle than I did in my early days when I used to be the Mr Jones, living in the nice house, nice area, nice cars, nice holidays, keeping up with the Joneses. I'm far away from that now. I live in a beautiful area on half the amount of money that I used to live on in the UK and I'll live a better lifestyle. And for those people that have met me, I think they'd agree with it also, the fact that you can live a better life outside of your comfort zone of your own country. So when living in the comfort zone becomes a problem, when you stagnate, when you just sit there and you've got no aspirations, where's your get up and go? Because at the end of the day, it's your get up and go has got you where you are now. Does that mean everything has to stop? Does that mean that you can't live a better life after you've got everything you want? Or are you just happy with where you are, what you're doing and how you're living? If that's the answer, then fine, so be it. But I've always been one for experiencing new, new adventure, new lifestyle, new living, experiencing, seeing different things. I want to be in a position, when I curl my toes up and I'm on my deathbed, I've got a head full of memories of where I've been, what I've done and how I've lived my life. I've done many things in my lifetime that many, many people will never ever do in their lifetimes. So every one of you is watching here has got true potential as to what you want to do in your life. It's only governed by your ability and your willingness to try new things. So let me give you an example. If you have a bird in a cage, the bird knows it can fly, but whilst it's stuck in the cage, it doesn't know how high it can fly until you open the cage door and let it fly out. And then, and only then, it will discover its truest potential, how high it can go, where it can go, and the freedom that that gives you. So just open your cage, step outside the door, see what you can do with your life at the age where you are now. Life is worth living, life is fantastic, Life is full of adventure, but it won't come to you. You've got to go and find it and look for it. So how do you get to your dreams? How do you get to the things that you want to do? Well, it obviously starts off with a plan, and you've already planned this when you were very young because everybody has an idea of where they want to be and what they want to, to achieve in life. So that's your plan that starts off. But you can revise that plan every single year, every single week if you need to, to achieve what you want to achieve. Life throws us curved balls sometimes so your, your path to happiness and success and your dreams it'll be a windy road it's never ever going to be a straight road so plan what you want if something alters the plan make another plan move forward with that plan so living outside of your comfort zone you'll be given many many opportunities opportunities come your way and boy have I had many opportunities in my two-year travel around the world and I grasped every opportunity. By grasping them opportunities, it opened up a whole new world that I didn't even know about. So life is a challenge. Life 
you're always going to be overcoming problems as long as you live and at the end of the day it's how you deal with these problems and move on gives you the lifestyle that you want. So it's up to you to grab every opportunity that comes your way. These will build your skills in life and these will ultimately help you get to the goal of what you want to do in life. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Until the next video, bye for now.